This California Assessment Accessibility Resource video is sponsored by the California Department of Education. This video covers the Test Navigation Assistant, or TNA, and the Designated Interface Assistant, or DIA, Accessibility Resources. By the end of this tutorial, you will understand the functions of these non-embedded resources, the differences between them, and when they are appropriate to use. Both of these resources are actually a person and can be used with the English Language Proficiency Assessments for California, or LPAC. They are available to students in grades 3 through 12 for the listening, reading, or writing domains of the LPAC. For more information, refer to the California Assessment Accessibility Resources Matrix by visiting bit.ly slash ca underscore matrix. A TNA and a DIA must be a trained LPAC test examiner who is administering the assessment. Only students navigating this test independently might need a TNA or a DIA. Therefore, those would be students in grades 3 through 12. Let's review the role of these important non-embedded resources. First, let's discuss the Test Navigation Assistant, or TNA. This non-embedded resource is a universal tool. The purpose of a TNA is to assist students in navigating the technology features of the student testing interface. The TNA helps to ensure that any challenges with the technology do not impact a student's ability to demonstrate language proficiency on the assessment. A TNA is only allowed to assist with technology. The TNA may not type a response for the student or select an answer choice. A trained LPAC test examiner may function as a TNA for any student who needs assistance navigating the test delivery system. This might include helping the student with logging onto the test, moving the mouse, navigating back and forth within the test, or using any other available universal tools. The TNA can be used during a one-on-one -on -one test administration or a group test administration. The TNA is only allowed to assist with the technology as indicated by the student. How do you know if a student needs the test examiner to function as a TNA? A student may request assistance, but the test examiner should also look for nonverbal cues. This could include cues such as the student making wide sweeps of the mouse or having difficulty placing the cursor in the correct location. The test examiner should monitor the student or students and watch for any difficulty with navigating the technology. Students who may require a TNA are often unfamiliar with the testing device or who lack the necessary computer skills to participate in a computer-based assessment. Sometimes they are new arrivals to school. Sometimes they are younger students who have little familiarity with navigating an online test. Students needing a TNA could be in any grade level or possess any level of English proficiency. Here are some examples of what the test examiner, acting as a TNA, may do. Type in the student's name, statewide student identifier, or SSID, and session identification information during the logon to start a test session. Assist with any keyboarding necessary for starting the test session. Assist with the mouse point and click and scroll bar. Assist with the on-screen tool or button navigation. This could include the back and next buttons, starting and stopping the listening stimulus, or submitting a test. Place the cursor where the student indicates. Remember, the TNA is only allowed to assist with the technology. The TNA may not change a student's response. The only time the TNA may type with a student's keyboard is during the logon and when starting a test session. The TNA may not type in a student's response for the writing domain. Let's watch Arlene act as the test navigation assistant in a one-on-one -on -one test administration of a grade five student. Okay, Gabriel, go ahead and start your reading test.
How do I get to the other question? Oh, okay. So look on the screen. Do you see that green arrow? And underneath it, it says next. Move the move the cursor, move the arrow over, and this. Yep, click that button. And so that's how you're going to keep going to all the questions. As the test navigation assistant, the only time you can touch the student's device and keyboard for them is during the logon process. You can go ahead and enter their SSID, type in their name, but once you've logged in, the student is going to be in control of their device and you are just going to verbally assist them with the technology. Now let's focus on the Designated Interface Assistant, or DIA. Like the TNA, a DIA is a trained LPAC test examiner who is assisting students with the technology of the computer-based LPAC. But the DIA can provide more assistance to a student than a TNA by entering answers that the student handwrites. Because of this extra support, the DIA is a designated support, which refers to a support that is available for use by students for whom the need has been indicated by an educator or a team of educators prior to testing. This support is also intended only for one-on-one -on -one test administration. Like the TNA, the DIA can help a student with logging on, scrolling, navigation, and placing the cursor. But the DIA can also help students type their written responses and select answer choices that they have indicated. To enter written responses, the student writes the response on a piece of paper or a whiteboard. The DIA then copies it directly into the testing interface. The DIA should not correct errors in capitalization, spelling, punctuation, or spacing unless the correction is reflected in the student's response. Once the student's responses have been entered and submitted, the DIA will securely destroy any scratch paper that was used during testing. This should be done immediately after testing. To recap, both a test navigation assistant and a designated interface assistant are non-embedded resources that assist students with the technology and navigation of the computer-based LPAC. A trained LPAC test examiner serves as the resource in both instances. If you are unsure of a student's computer skills, the Technology Readiness Checker for Students, or TRACKS, can be used to gauge a student's familiarity with technology features. This game-like tool has students use navigation features used in the LPAC. It can help you determine if a student might need a TNA or DIA during LPAC testing. For more information about student accessibility resources and test settings, visit lpac.org. Thanks for watching.